Hi everyone, today's video is going to be an update on my 101 Disney Rolling Project Plan Blitz. I love doing this, it's one of my favorite projects I've ever done on my channel. So, um, I'm really excited about it, I hope y'all are too. Um, before this video, I had used up nine different items and I actually have two more empties. So for the movie The Prestige, I did go ahead and use up the YSL Touche Clot Blur Primer. I think you can see that I did like take this thing out and scrape around. I also took another brush and scraped on the inside, so I got every little bit out. I do still think there's some up here near the top, but I cannot get that with my finger or with anything, so I'm calling it quits. I did use it for a while. I really liked it. This is probably my favorite primer. Um, it is really smoothing without feeling really thick and silicone-y. It does make my makeup last longer. I do like a hydrating primer for this time of year because, y'all, it is cold here. Um, but I do really like this, and um, I'm happy about that. But I am happy to see it go just because, you know, it's an empty. And the 11th item I used up was for the movie Casanova, and I finished up this Poker Bone um, 1 Million Perfume. I don't, I think this is a unisex uh, fragrance. I'm not sure. I really like it. It's a very, like, deep, sexy scent. Um... Yeah, it has like a lot of like amber in it, which is what I like. So um, I'm a big fan of this. Uh, it's all gone. But I would consider purchasing a full size of that, actually. Though my favorite, if you follow me, you might know, is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black. So I'm going to go ahead and update y'all on the remaining 19 items. And then, because it is a Project Pan Blitz, we're going to pull in five more items. I know last time I was like really having a hard time choosing items. Um, I've thought about what I kind of want. Obviously, it has to match a movie. I'm not just going to pull in something random. But I've thought about more what I would kind of like to be able to use this week uh, or this month. So I think that'll help. Um, so first, for the movie Dumbo. I have the Sonia Kashuk Nail Polish in the shade Smoke and Mirrors. Um, so hopefully you can see that I am actually below the word Kashuk. Um, and before I was above it, it is this color that's on my nails today. I do really like it. It's probably my favorite silver. It has lost a gram. It went from 45 grams to 44 grams. And once it's on my toes as well. So once this month I used it for my toes and all 10 of my fingers. And I did find that it was getting harder and harder to use up. So, you know, maybe in a month or two this will be gone, which would be great. Um, so, yeah. Uh, then for Alexander in the No Good, Horrible, Awful, Very Bad Day, I have the Torina Tarantino Doll Skin Eye Primer. This still weighs 13 grams. It hasn't lost any weight, though I am scraping more and more. Um, I've already taken out the stopper, as you can tell. And there doesn't seem to be that much more in it. I mean, scraping the size even. I, um would be surprised if this isn't completely used up by the next time which would be exciting of course but yeah i do like it fine it's just not as good as other ones it's what i use today um i'm really feeling this makeup look um it's it's just a lot of color and it kind of like revived me i know i love makeup but like doing this look today i was just like this is why i love to play with makeup so um you know, I, I have on all of these products today, except for one. I'll tell you that when it gets there. But yeah, I think that'll be gone next week or next month. So then for Frank and Weenie, I have the Physicians Formula Green Concealer. I do like this concealer a lot. You can hopefully see that we've cleared out some more of the sign. So we have hit pan all the way to the top, and now we're working on the side. We're working our way around. Um, there's a lot in here. It just got really bright. It's been really uh, windy and kind of murky today. Um... But of course, now that I'm filming, it's really bright, so sorry about the glare if that happens. This um, has lost a gram. It went from 51 grams to 50 grams, so that's exciting. Um, I use it whenever I have red spots, but I obviously don't want to have a ton of red spots, so I think this will be around for a good long while, but I'm okay with that. Then for Rushmore, I have the Besame Snow White Cream Blush. I have hit more pan on this. You know, that pan is for sure growing. I use it as a cream blush any day I wear makeup. Well, any weekday. If you don't know, um, I'm not a big fan of double dutying products because I have so much makeup in every single category. Oh, I just threw it and I lost it. Oh, I lost the blush. Uh-oh. Oh, it's behind me. Don't worry, it's behind me. <laughs> Whoops! Um, I have so much makeup in every single category. I don't really like to double duty products. Um, and I use Project Pan items all during the week. And on the weekends, Hippo loves to do makeup. On the weekends, um, I use whatever else. So I'm making sure I use my entire collection. But yeah, I do use this every weekday um, that I have on makeup. I've been wearing makeup less just because prelims, they're real. 
they're scary they're upcoming so yeah but I do like this um, and I think I'll be working on that for a good long while as well but that's okay you know um, not all of these items are super easy to use up I probably didn't choose the best item for blitz honestly because typically you try to use up items that you think you can you know have a few empties every single time and I have not but yeah, we're working on it so then I have um, for Beverly Hills what what do you smell buddy I'm not sure what he smells or what he wants, except for love and attention. Uh, if you don't know, this is Hippocampus. This is my mutt. Um, he is four years old. Yes, and he's a mama's boy. Um, actually, I don't know. He doesn't love me as much as Kanga does, but you know, most dogs don't. So, um, he wants to be a part of today's video, so I can't really tell him no, can I? Um, so yeah, for, Sonya, for the next one, it is the Beverly Hills Chihuahua. And I have the Sonia Kashuk um, Eye Definer in the shade Plummy Bronze. There is so little left of this. I'm so frustrated that I didn't completely. There's Kanga. She's a long-haired miniature dachshund. If you didn't know, she's they recently made an appearance, but they're feeling it today. Yes, y'all are being brats. Um, Kanga, stop. Kanga likes to hump. It's one of her fatal flaws. She just likes to do it. Uh, she is a female. She's spayed, but it's a dominance thing so yeah I, I feel like this should be gone you see how little bit I have left um, but I don't also just want to sharpen it for the sake of sharpening it just so I use it up to me that seems just as wasteful so I try not to do that um, but I've just got this little nubbin left so I'm gonna keep working on it it still weighs two grams same as last time so for how's move y'all are not being conducive to filming okay here look we're gonna put Kango over here hippo if you want to play with her no, look, why don't you go behind me? For Howl's Moving Castle, I have this Galactic Beauty Chic Shine in the shade Start Behind. Can go. You're not helpful. Um, in the shade Star Silver. So you can see there is a good bit of pan, and it is um, getting smaller around the edges. I hope you can tell that. This, I believe, weighs the same. Uh, yeah, it still weighs 26 grams, but I'm getting some use out of it. I use it as a cream highlighter again pretty much every single day, and I do like it. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of cream cheap products as a general rule, but I do like this one, so there you go. Uh, yes, Kanga, I know. Then for the shade, uh, uh, the word, uh, the movie, sorry, there's a lot of commotion today. A civil action. I have the Sinful Colors Nail Polish in the shade Hottie. And you can see before it was above the word sinful colors and now it is right at that uh, title so that's exciting obviously the bottle does get fatter as it goes out it is this one um, I only did two coats today I like to usually do three with this polish it's a very pretty polish though it does chip kind of fast um, but I like it a lot um, that's kind of how I feel about a lot of nail polish I like it I like to change it up but I don't like how quickly it chips um, and that shade has actually lost a gram it weighs 51 grams so that's exciting for the movie outrageous fortune i have the best may cosmetic snow white ever after translucent pearl powder i really like this powder and we have got some use out of this mm, that is some really large pan um so this actually has lost a gram it went from 49 grams to 48 grams and i'm pretty happy with that i would say a month or two and this will be completely used up which is exciting I use it every day to set my face and I like it a lot then for the movie right yeah newsies I have this uh, urban decay ozone lip liner again it's just a little nubbin um, I probably have two months left of this because I keep forgetting to use it if I use it every day like I should I, I think I could have it gone in a month but I just keep forgetting to use it it is a translucent lip liner it still weighs three grams um, I don't know how far maybe I could get it done in a month this should be something that I plan Kanga please stop that I plan to use up um, this month because it, it, it already needs to be sharpened. So I probably got two or three more sharpenings in this. And this does go faster than my eyeliners because I only use my eyeliner in my lower lash line and that's about it. Next for Hello Again, we have the Epic Blend Hemp Raspberry and Pomegranate Lip Balm. I have been using this a lot. I like to use it in the mornings, but like right when I start doing my makeup and I even grab it sometimes um, throughout the night. I do have a different one that sits in my purse, so that one goes a little quicker. But this one still is getting some use for sure. 
it still weighs nine grams so there's no like weight usage out of it but trust me i've been using it so that's good then for the movie the good dinosaur i chose this victoria's secret nail lacquer in the shade envy that's what's on my pinky you can see um it is very glittery and chunky but this chips like literally within a day or two i remember when these when i first got these i loved them i thought they lasted forever but they chip really quickly. Um, I did make some good progress. You can see it's actually at the top of the word Victoria's Secrets, and it was not before. Um, and this one has lost a gram. It went from 56 to 55, so that's exciting. Um, I'm really excited to have gotten some better use out of my nail polish because I feel like I've been coming in and been like, well, barely use this, well, barely use that. So I'm happy to have gotten some good use out of my nail polish this um, time. You know, not a ton, but some good use. All right, for Ernest Scared Stupid, I chose the Lorac Beauty and the Beast Lip Gloss. This still weighs 32 grams. It's in the shade True Beauty, and it is what's on my lips today. I've been wearing it a lot because it's been so dry. I don't want to pull for my liquid lipstick. I've been liking this. It's a nice, um, just kind of a nudie color. I can give you a swatch. It's a peachy nude. There we go. Mm, and like I said, it's what's on my lips today, so I do like it. I... If I, I can't really see progress, but if I uh, move it around, you can see that there is some empty space in there. So this will last a long time. I'm terrible at painting lip cloth or products. I don't know how people get through them so quickly. I'm just gonna work on it until there's nothing left. Hot lead and cold feet. For that, I have the Urban Decay Ammo Palette and I have the shade Shattered. This is what's on my lid today, Shattered. I love this shade. It's a beautiful duochrome. It's this gorgeous blue with a gold duochrome throughout it. I just love it. Now, I will say, um, it is a very thin formula, and I feel like you do kind of have to build it up. I don't mind that. You know, um, that doesn't really bother me, but I have made some really nice progress on this. I do think that next time you will be able to see some pan on this uh, eyeshadow, which would make me very happy. So, yeah. Um, I like it. There's only 0 0.8 grams, I think. Yeah. A normal eyeshadow has 1.5 grams. This one has 0 0.8, so it's about half the size, which means it's going to be easier to use. And I do use a lot every time because of that thin consistency. But I have it on today, and I really like it. Next. Oh, and that... Um, it actually lost 2 grams, and I'm very confused because, like I said, that eyeshadow isn't even 2 grams. I, I think there must be an issue with my weight last time or something. I weighed it twice, and it still say it said 109 grams, so we're going to go with it next month, I'm sure. I'll be like, well, I don't know what happened, so there we go. Next, for the movie The Avengers, I have the Guerlain Meteorites in the shade number 3 Medium. I love these. They're just so pretty. They smell delicious. Um, I do feel like they make a difference. This is the one part I forgot to put on today. Um, I just... just plain forgot and I had already sprayed once I did setting spray I didn't want to put this on over setting spray it kind of seemed counterproductive so um for this it's lost two grams so I have like I said been using it quite a bit um and I love those those babies I highly recommend them then for a real steel I have the Pacifica um natural minerals eyeliner in the shade gunmetal I don't know why I chose this this makes me angry honestly because I I try to at least it's right there. It's a very pretty gunmetal shade. Um, but I try to not have things that overlap, but I have two eyeliners, so I can't wear both of them every day. So I don't like to do that. I just got kind of overwhelmed last time. I don't think I'd really planned out what I wanted to choose or really even thought about it. So um, I have more this time. I've obviously got some empties, and then I was, I'm doing another project pan. It's a collab, and um, I have some empties for those, and that's not a rolling project pan, so that helps me as well. But you know, it's just makeup. It's it's casual. I just got I got agitated with myself for doing that because I don't like to do that. So next we have for Fantasia, I have the Sesh Vite top coat. This is almost full, but it is at the word Sesh. If you can see that, this has lost two grams, so it went from fifty six to fifty four. So I'm pretty happy with that. Really like that top coat. Um, have nothing you know bad to say about it. Then for Race to Witch Mountain. I have the Urban Decay, ugh, it fell on its side, Heavy Metal Glitter Liner. Glitter liner. I do have this on today, and I love the way it looks. I've used it twice, and I just 
love it. It's so glittery and pretty. I can swatch this for you as well. Um, it has a lot of glitter and it has like in a swatch it just doesn't seem that magical but on the lid I just love it I love the way it turned out um, I, I like I said I only used it twice so this didn't no this still weighs 20 grams I don't know I mean I know this is gonna take me forever to use it up but when I use it I enjoy it so that's you know that's kind of the point of makeup isn't it then for three minute a baby I have the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I chose the shade White Peach, which is right here. I use this as a brow bone highlight today, but I'm not gonna lie to you, it's the first time I've used it because my Pam Matte Palette has a brow bone highlight and it's just like, it will not move at all. I use it every day, it's got a lot of pan, but it just doesn't move. So it's frustrating, but you know, what are you gonna do? Um, but once that's gone, I plan on using this guy. This, um, I can swatch it for you, it's just kind of a matte pinky white it does work as a it's almost a satin not even a matte but it works really nicely as a brow bone highlight I have it on today and I like it um this uh weighs 210 grams it hasn't changed as far as weight goes but I like it I like it a lot and the last item is the for the movie Apocalypto and it's the Milani fast uh, high speed fast dry top coat in the shade black swift this bottle is opaque but so I cannot show you any visible progress and it still weighs 44 grams. It's the one, it's this black shade. I do like it. Again, um, there's nothing wrong with this one, but I can't really show you any progress. So this is what we're working with as far as some colored products. And um, I now get to choose five more items. And again, I've thought about it more, so hopefully I won't be so like, I don't know anything. Um, and I'll choose better. So I have one to 738. I am using a list on the D23 Disney Fan Club website. I know that some of these um, were not originally Disney movies, and like I know apparently Howl's Moving Castle is not a Disney movie, but Disney owns the rights to it in America. Um, I've had a lot of people tell me that. Again, I'm just going based on this list, so there you go. Um, so we'll get a new number 429. Four. That is Summer of Sam. It is a touchstone movie. Don't know anything about it, but it's a summery thing, so maybe um, something summery. I do have um, room for a perfume, so maybe I'd like to do like a, a fun summery perfume. I like this English laundry. I think it smells really sweet and um, fun and summery, and uh, it's kind of old, so I do need to use this up. Let me make sure it doesn't stink. No, it does not stink. It, it's getting there, but I think if I can use this up, it will not. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much full. It hasn't even hit the word English laundry, but I'll play with that next time, um, and we'll make some progress on that. So then, 294. So let's go up. 294 is the Mighty Duck. So they are hockey players. Um, I do know this movie and uh, they were like playing against people I haven't seen this movie in forever so maybe I don't know this movie so well but um, a hockey puck is black and I've been wanting a winged eyeliner so I would like a black winged liner um, so I've got here's a steal a stay all day I think I like this let's see if it still writes yeah it's still writing pretty well so um I'll pull this out and I will work on that guy. Steal us, stay all day for the Mighty Ducks 2. And then 396. That's Flubber. It's a movie with Robin Williams. Uh, Flubber is this green gelatinous material. So there you go. Um, hmm. I am going to pick a primer and I'm going to pick this Ipkin color correcting primer because it's green just like flubber is green so that just seems to you know be very serendipitous so yeah i'm gonna pull a primer because i'm not working on a primer right now there we go and generate 458 that is the movie whispers uh wait no, that's 448. My bad. 458 is the movie Remember the Titans. Excellent movie. Denzel Washington. Um, it's about football. I love football. Um, 
So it's also about um, some like racial issues that were happening in the 60s. It's a really great movie. It's very uplifting. Um, so yeah, let me think what I would like to do for that. Um, I don't know. Okay, I think I'm gonna, I don't, I'm not working on a concealer right now. And a lot of Remember the Titans is about fitting in and finding your place. And so I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer because there you go. That works, right? It's kind of a stretch, but, you know, we're working with it. Um, I don't have anything like maroon I could really wear because I think that's the school colors. But, yeah, I'm going to do the Fit Me Concealer for Remember the Titans. And then last but not least, for 286. Um, we have the movie Tombstone. That sounds spooky. Um, it's by Hollywood Pictures, so it's not even a Disney movie. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. Um, okay, that sounds gray. Tombstones are gray. I don't really want to do a gray eyeshadow or a gray liner. I've got liners, no liner. Um... I would, I know it's something I would like to put in, but I don't know that I can really make it work. I think I'm going to make it work. So I really want to put in this Orly uh, Bonder rubberized base coat. And if you take away this, so if you just look at the shape of the bottle, it's kind of shaped like a tombstone, right? Right? You can see that. Yeah. Um, and plus, I just kind of want to put that in. So, yeah. There you go. There are my five items. That was quicker than normal. Um, like I said, I kind of thought about things I wanted to put in. And I just thought about, okay, like right now, I know I'm not working on a concealer. So, I've got a couple of concealers to choose from. Let's pick one. So, yeah. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this. I love doing this project pan. Uh, I always mess up her name. It's like Beauty Beth Bell. Beth Bell, something like that. She's doing this as well. She always puts her updates in the comments below. Check that out. Um, she doesn't have a channel, I don't believe. Um, I think I checked and she does not. But she's doing this project. She's doing much better than me. Um, she uses the same topics and just um, picks items from her collection using the videos that I choose. Um, but you know, like she's like, I don't know how many empties she has, like 15 or 16, and I'm over here working with 11. But that's okay, you know. Um, so yeah, I'll be panning these items. I think we're gonna have a couple of empties next time, maybe not a ton, but we're gonna keep rocking and rolling with it and having a good time because that's what it's about. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, go ahead and leave those down below and I'll see y'all real soon. Bye.